Today we're going to learn how to solve one of the most household's and most vexing problems, a slow running or clogged drain. Now, with this tool that my father invented, it's called the Easy Drain Jet. It requires no tools, nothing. And what you do is you attach this end to a water source, any water source. You stick this end of the hose into the drain and you literally flush the clog out, no matter what it is, hair, soap, anything. Now, you may be thinking that this, is a little, this, this hose is a little short to attach to a good water source. Now, the good thing is with the Easy Drain Jet is that the hose comes in size of 5 feet, 10 feet, 25 feet, and 50 feet, depending on how far your water source is away. Now, we're going to show you how to use the Easy Drain Jet with the hose of 5 feet and 50 feet. So you may be wondering what water source is close enough to connect to 5 feet. The answer is not much. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the end of our 5 foot Easy Drain Jet to our garden hose, which will then connect to our washing machine, which is on the same level. Let me show you how. We're lucky that our washer and dryer are on the same level as most of our bathroom sink. The water supply for your washer and dryer are a perfect water source for your Easy Drain Jet. Now our first step is to turn off the cold water. You only want to use cold water because hot water, well, we don't want you to get scalded in doing this. So turn off the cold water. Then what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew the, the, the line to the washing machine. Make sure you have a towel on hand because you might get some drop, droplets out. Okay, nice and tight. Now, do, do not turn the water back on unless you want a big mess, which you probably don't. So we're going to go back into the bathroom. So here we have the end of our easy drain jet connected to the end of our garden hose. Now remember, we didn't turn the water on back there yet for a reason. So we're taking the other end of our easy drain jet and we're going to stick it down our drain. Okay? Oh, stop. Now, there's a little flap right at the end of your drain. You have to kind of get past. You're going to have to work, kind of work it and move it. Take it out, put it back in. Try to get past this little flap here. All right. So now, once you feel that resistance move, you're going to put the hose all the way down, about 18 inches, about as far as you can get it, until it stops. All right. Once you hit that, the, the bottom of the drain, which I clearly didn't. All right. And at the bottom of the drain, you're going to lift it back up until you get to hit that little flap again. All right. All right. At this point, then you want to turn your water on back there. Now we're back here at our washing machine. We're going to turn our water back on. Right, it's supposed to make that sound. Don't worry. So you hear the noise? That's supposed to happen, so don't worry. Okay, that's the water from the washing machine literally forcing the clog out. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to, after you hear that noise, you're going to kind of up, go up and down a few times to make sure that clog is nice and clear. Okay, try to get on different sides. Make sure it goes all the way down until you feel necessary. Look, I guess our drain is now unplugged. So before you take the, the jet out, make sure you turn your water back off. <laughs> you should hear the, the stopping of the flow of water. Okay, from that, the same towel I used before, keep it handy. So you're gonna pull the jet out, and you're gonna see some, some debris on the, on the jet, which is normal. You take it out, and it's all the stuff that was clogging your drain. So just use that handy towel, get it all off. And there you go. So, that's how to use your easy drain jet. Let's see if it worked. And put the stopper in the sink down. See? Flowing just like normal. So you just saw us clear the drain with our 5 foot easy drain jet. Now see how much easier it is with our 50 foot easy drain jet, but the same steps apply. So we have, again, we hook it up to the cold water of the washing machine. Remember, do not turn your water on yet. When you, when you walk away from the water source with the hose, make sure you don't kink it or twist it in any way. Because it's just like kinking a garden hose, it restricts the flow of water. So remember, take the end of your easy drain jet, put it in the drain. Okay? Maybe 
remember, you have to get past that little flap, so you have to move it in, kind of twist it until you get past it. Alright, so when you pull out the drain jet, you'll see some, some of the debris that does clog your drain. So, got it. Okay. So you're going to file the drain, file the end of the easy drain jet into the drain, and wait until you hit the bottom. Remember, pull it back up until you hit the flap. Okay, and now we're going to go turn our water back on. So remember, that sound is normal. Lift it up a few times. Okay. Put it all the way down to the bottom. Pull it out. Until you think the clog has been cleared. Our clog is clear, so let's go turn our water back off. Remember to keep that towel handy. And slowly pull out the easy drain jet. So now, now that we've done both of our sinks, we're going to take our easy drain jet into our shower or bathtub and and show you how it works in either of those drains. This is a classic shower and tub combination. We're gonna use our easy drain jet to unclog our drain. So, so the same, same, steps, steps, same apply. steps apply. We're gonna do is we're gonna put the end of the easy drain jet into our drain. You have to get past that little flap, like always. So remember, when you put, whether well, you're putting it in or taking it out, you do not want to force anything. If it gets stuck, just kind of move it around, wiggle it around until you get by, which I think I have. So now that our easy drain jet is in our is in our drain, you know, we pull it up to hit the flap again, and we're going to turn our water back on. Okay, same step as before, you know, go down and up as much as you can. Get all that crud out of there. You're literally flushing out the dirt and the clogs and the hair and everything that's in there. So have that handy towel again, ready? Pull it out. Get all the debris off there. Okay. All right. Now let's see if it works. Some of that debris, that debris, is still going to be around for a while. Okay. There you go. Final, our very last final step is to take off our drain jet and put our, our water hose back on. There we go. Okay. There you go.